What they point to is the emergence of a far-right figure named Itamar Ben-Gavir, who has become a member of Netanyahu's government as a result of this coalition that was forged in December. And Ben-Gavir has been, he previously, he was a fringe, sort of anti-Palestinian, far-right provocateur. When he was 19 years old, he basically had somehow stolen or taken the hood ornament from Yitzhak Rabin, the then Prime Minister's car, and was waving it around saying that if we can get to your car, we can get to you. Three weeks later, uh, Yitzhak Rabin was assassinated by a far-right religious extremist in Israel because they felt that he had committed treason by signing the Oslo Accords. Now, Ben Gavir wasn't implicated himself, but it gives you a sense of kind of where he's coming from. And Ben Gavir has led over the past year several incursions into the Al Aqsa Mosque area. And the reason he said he's done this is to show that the Al Aqsa Mosque and the Dome of the Rock, you know, the Haram al Sharif, which is the third holiest site in Islam after Mecca and Medina, he says that that is under the sovereignty of Israel, that that belongs to Israel. There is also a faction of the Israeli far right that wants to build the third temple on the Temple Mount. You have to understand that that cannot happen while the Al-Aqsa Mosque is still there. So you have these, I don't mind saying crazies, I mean, to destroy or even to imply that you would ever destroy the Al-Aqsa Mosque is such an explosive issue. It would turn the entire Muslim world against Israel and basically I think it would be the end of Israel. But you have these figures who've now been incorporated into Netanyahu's cabinet. And I, they are, I think, far to the right of Netanyahu, but they are pressuring Netanyahu. They are, seem to be banging for some sort of religious war. So the domestic politics of another country is not something that we're totally familiar with, but you have to understand that Israel does have these elements. And man, I hope that the Biden administration is telling Netanyahu that, yeah, we stand with Israel, but not if you're going to follow the advice of these far-right religious extremists.